Before I describe how you can use Dreamweaver CS4 to generate dynamic web applications, I'm going to describe the basic architecture of the World Wide Web. The web includes clients and servers connected together over what we know as the Internet. The Internet uses a technology called TCP IP, and requests and responses are sent between these clients and servers using a variety of protocols. Classic web pages are requested and received over the Internet using a protocol called Hypertext Transfer Protocol, also known as HTTP. The HTTP protocol allows requests to be sent from a browser and responses to be sent from a server. On a personal computer, to participate in the web, you need a web browser. Common web browsers include Internet Explorer, Firefox, Safari, Chrome, and Opera. And then there are many proprietary browsers available. You can also make requests for web resources over devices such as cell phones. When a request is sent over the web, it's received by a computer running a piece of software called an HTTP server. Common versions of this HTTP server software include Internet Information Services, or IIS, used on Windows, or Apache, a free HTTP server product that can be installed on many operating systems, including Windows, Mac, Linux, and many others. And then, just as with browsers, there are proprietary solutions from various vendors. When you build a static website using Dreamweaver or any other tool, you deliver static files to your web server. These files commonly have a file extension of .htm or .html, and they're saved as text files on the web server's disk. When the browser makes a request for a static web page, it sends this request over the HTTP protocol, the request is received by the web server, and the web server retrieves the file from its server disk. It then returns the HTML file's content, which is pure text, over the HTTP connection to the browser. When you work in dynamic pages, the architecture is a little bit different. The first part works the same. The browser makes the request over HTTP, and it's received by the server. But now, instead of directly opening a text file from its disk, the HTTP server dispatches the request to a piece of software known as an application server. The application server receives and interprets the request and it executes a script which might have references to a database or other server-side resources. After doing its work, it then generates a response in the form of HTML. This generated HTML is then sent back to the browser over the HTTP connection. From the browser's point of view, it's receiving HTML that looks exactly the same as in a static environment. It has no sense that there's a dynamic server on the back end. And so as long as the application server generates well-formed HTML that can be interpreted by the browser, then the application works as expected. Here are the available application servers that you can choose from in your environment. Adobe's ColdFusion has a long history as one of the earliest implementations of application servers for the web. It's available on many operating systems, including Windows, Mac, Linux, and Solaris. And you can download and install a free developer's edition of ColdFusion for free, although deployment of ColdFusion does require a license fee. You can also choose PHP. PHP is a completely free, open source application server software package. You can download and install PHP on any of its supported operating systems, again, including Windows, Mac, Linux, and many others. PHP is commonly paired with the MySQL database server. You can also choose Microsoft's Active Server Pages, known these days as Classic ASP. While Microsoft doesn't directly support ASP anymore in favor of its newer technology, ASP.NET, ASP is still very commonly used, especially by Dreamweaver users, because Dreamweaver CS4 has very strong support for this technology. In fact, if you're a Dreamweaver user, these first three technologies are the most strongly recommended, ColdFusion, PHP, or ASP because these are the technologies that Adobe continues to build functionality for and will continue to support. There's also support in Dreamweaver CS4 for Microsoft's newer technology, ASP.NET, but it's important to note that Adobe has announced they will no longer add new features for ASP.NET support. And in fact, the current version of Dreamweaver only supports ASP.NET 1.1, while the ASP.NET technology has moved on since then to version 3.5, and added a lot of new features and architectures that Dreamweaver doesn't understand. And for Java developers, you can choose among the different J2EE servers, such as WebSphere, WebLogic, JBoss, or Tomcat. Adobe's own J2EE server, JRun, 
has actually been discontinued, and Adobe has announced they will no longer do development on that server. If you want to use Java, I do recommend the free products JBoss or Tomcat. But once again, as with ASP.NET, Adobe has announced that future versions of Dreamweaver will not add new features for support of the Java-based servers. You can also select other application server technologies when building a dynamic application environment, such as Perl or other proprietary products, but those products are not supported by Dreamweaver. In this video series, I'll be describing how to integrate Dreamweaver CS4 with Adobe Cold Fusion and PHP. I won't be describing the use of ASP.NET or Java-based servers because Dreamweaver won't be adding new features for those technologies, and I won't be describing any other technologies because there is no Dreamweaver support for those. However, if you have Cold Fusion, PHP, or ASP, this course will show you how to build the applications on those platforms.